Today in Mathematics Masterclass, we'll be using these two examples to explain the degree of accuracy under approximations. Relax yourself and enjoy the class. Example 1. Calculate the area of a circle of radius 3.5 cm. Take pi to be 3.14. We all know that, I mean, the area of a circle is given as A is equals to pi r square. And the radius given to us from the equation is 3.5 centimeters. And then pi given to us is uh, 3.14. Remember, the degree of accuracy is all about the final answer. So, if we continue our calculation, we have our A to be equal to uh, pi is 3.14 given to us and the radius is 3.5 centimeter then square. So, if we continue, our A now will be equal to 3.14 times if you square 3.5 it will give us 12.25 and if you square centimeter it will give you centimeter square close the bracket so our a which is the radio i mean the area of a circle if you multiply these values it is going to give us 38.465 centimeter square now the degree of accuracy is saying that since the parameter from the equation, the radius of the circle is 3.5, that is, it, uh, the value is in two significant figures, that our final answer must be in two significant figures also. So we must approximate this value to two significant figures to reflect the parameter given to us from the question. That is, this 3.5 as the radius of the circle. So if you write 38.465 centimeters square in two significant figures, it will give you 38 centimeter square. Therefore, the area of the circle is or is equal to 38 centimeter square. So remember, the degree of accuracy is all about the final answer. And it's saying that if the parameter given to you in the question is in two significant figures, your final answer must be in two significant figures. Remember, pi is a rounded value. It's not part of the parameters. It's a given value. It's a known value. So take note of that pi is not part of the parameter in the question. The only parameter we have in the question is the radius, which is 3.5 centimeters. So let's consider example two quickly. In our example two, in an experiment, the radius r of a spherical balloon is measured as 21 centimeters. Calculate the volume v of the balloon. Take pi to be 3.14. The volume of a spherical shape V is given as a 4 over 3 pi r cube. And the r given to us from the equation is 21 cm. And the pi is 3.14. So if we calculate the volume of this shape, we have our V to be equal to a 4 times the value of, the value of pi, which is 3.14 times also 21 raised to the power of 3 all over 3. So, our V therefore will be equal to a 4 again times 3.14 times again. So, if you take the cube of 21, you are going to get um, 9,261 all over 3. So V now will be equal to 
If you multiply everything in the numerator and divide it by 3, we are going to get 38,772.72. Remember, if you take the cube of centimeters, it will give you centimeter cube. V, therefore, will be equal to... Now, we now have to decide what our final answer will look like. So this cannot be our final answer because from the question given to us, the radius of the circle or the radius of the balloon here, which is 21 centimeters, is given in two significant figures. So our final answer here must be in two significant figures. So if you write this value, I mean this value in two significant figures, you are going to get 39,000 cm cube. Therefore, the volume is equal to the volume is equal to 39,000 cm cube. So remember the degree of accuracy is all about the final answer. Degree of accuracy says that if the parameter given to you in the question is in two significant figures, your final answer must be in two significant figures. If it's in one significant figure, your final answer must be in one significant figure. If it is in four significant figures, your final answer must be in four significant figures. So take note of that. It is very, very important. That is what degree of accuracy is all about. Thank you and God bless you.